Four members of the Absol family were killed in London, Ontario, in what police called a hate-motivated attack. We believe the victims were targeted because of their Islamic faith. Those who knew them and still live in the community say the effects of that are widespread. You have to make a conscious effort to be aware, to, to be more, you know, kind of vigilant and, and be more observant about what's going on. Experts say hate crimes have risen with increasing divisions in society. Political narratives that really feed into xenophobia, hatred, bigotry directed towards a, a whole array of communities. And, you know, we like to blame Trump, but he's not alone. This advocate wants Ottawa to invest $44 million to support victims of hate crimes as part of its national action plan. I think it's time, instead of us talking about statistics, we talk about human beings who have been impacted, whose lives have been shattered. In a tweet, the minister says the plan will include ways to combat hate crimes, train police agencies, prevent radicalization, and protect vulnerable communities. That community impact is something Alberta Crown prosecutors must now consider when laying charges. Their new guidelines state it is in the general public interest to prosecute crimes motivated by bias, prejudice or hate, based on the victim's ethnicity, gender, religion and sexual orientation. And that's one of the um, assessments that they do in regards to in the public interest. How much harm does it have on the individuals and the community involved here? It really takes a toll on on the mental health and the emotional health and, and the overall well-being of the entire community. Advocates say combating hate means each of us need to be more aware of our own biases and take responsibility for calling out racist, sexist and homophobic incidents. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.